scrapping? Where's the scrapping? <laughs> well, we're in search of it. It's not like I'm not trying.
Brendan said there was some scrap or something. Yeah, yeah. Brendan. Oh, okay. You get rid of that pallet too? Yeah, you want the, I got a big pallet inside too. It's like seven foot. Oh, yeah. I don't know about that one. I have to look at that. Yeah, you have to take that pallet. Yeah. Um, don't take my little orange bucket of concrete, but you grab everything else that's on the side. <laughs> All right? All right, dude. So I guess, I guess there's some, uh, there's some scrap here, and the pallet, and this looks like that weird saw that I had before, when I had the old warehouse. Remember, if you look at my earliest videos, go way back to my first videos. And you'll see that I was here at this place right here. Okay, I'm no longer there. That place, that was pretty good. I mean, it was only a short distance from my house. Instead of being all the way out in farmland. In the middle of nothingness. Where I'm at now. furnace inside it. fireworks I'm trying to I'm trying to black me in so I can't leave that's why I didn't pull up any closer you know so we can call the police now I'm trespassing on this land which is what I should have done to these bill collectors that came to my house. They they parked in my driveway and I pulled the U-Haul up to my house the other day to wash it out. You now because scrap makes everything kind of gnarly. And uh, man, that would have made a great video. I should just park the U-Haul and block them in in my driveway. Is I was thinking, I'm not sure that they could do anything about it because it's not false imprisonment because I'm not holding them against their will. They are not the car. I'm blocking their car and not them. So I think I would have been within my rights. stems from why I had this place so if any of you guys really care to go look at my earliest videos and this is my old warehouse this location here where the window tinting place is at yeah this guy used 
used to have a used to have a shiznit. stuff inside. Okay, he knew there was a scrapper when, I, when he rented it to me and everything was good for about four or five months and then all of a sudden nothing was good. But anyway, a certain person, I don't want to be too specific because then people will get, do background research. I mean, I don't want that happening. That, that certain type of background research, but anyway, these door-to-door -door salesman people came to this building and offered some form of professional advertising service. We'll put it that way. All right, I signed nothing. Okay, I said I don't know. I have to, you know, I. I the lady came off looking very polished and professional and well spoken and I thought at first it was like some some government person knocking on the door you know maybe saying that I needed some kind of permit or approval or some bullcrap like that and it wasn't that. So she sort of misrepresented herself. She didn't claim to be anything other than somebody working for a certain advertising system. Okay, I can't get the other piece for some reason. It just doesn't want to go into my hand. And that my probably is plastic. Yeah. Did find a piece of aluminum in the stuff. You know, anyway, so I said oh, I gotta check with my wife on that because I'm not so I'm not so sure I, I'd be approved to spend money. You know, I was just trying to blow her off in a gentle way, but that didn't work. So now I've adopted the the cold crafts. Go away! I don't want any. Go away! I don't want any. <clears throat> Whoever you are, when you're knocking on my door. Whether you're a political campaigner or a Jehovah's Witness or whatever you are, unless you're selling cookies from the Girl Scouts or something or it's the Boy Scouts, don't talk to me. I want nothing to do with you. So that's what you guys can learn from listening and watching these stupid videos, alright? If they're not selling Girl Scout cookies or if it's not something with the Boy Scouts, you're not interested. Simple as that. I don't care if they're selling, you know, roofing shingles or lawn cutting service, nothing. Okay? You've all been banned. No way. So anyway, this lady went to my to my house and my wife responded to the door. And my wife signed something. I think, okay. But the advertisement is under my name, alright? And these people are trying to collect from me, alright? So they've been they've been hounding me for two years trying to collect this money, alright? They're not gonna get the money, alright? I, I don't have money. And the last thing I'm gonna spend money on, alright, is some uh, bill that I seen I seen and received no benefit from whatsoever. Alright. So anyway, another day after being in my driveway and they tried to ask me who I was and I didn't say who I was. They asked me, are you Martin? 
know, my last day, and I'm like, I said nothing. I said nothing to these people. I said, go away, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't know you, I don't know this. No, I tried to act like I was, act like I was Eastern European. They're acting like, thank you. They're acting like, uh, do you live here? And I'm like, I'm like, no, just moving out, moving in. You know, like I'm confused. <laughs> and so they sat there for a little bit. And I wanted to block them in. And I should have blocked them in. But I don't know, I don't know enough about the world. I'm a little naive that way. About how the world works. In hindsight, I should have just put the put the U-Haul right there in the driveway and let them let them sit and spin. Because they were parked they were parked uh, in front of that or behind rather that Ford, that brown Ford F-150 in the driveway and. I was right behind them with the U-Haul, so, and they were driving a little four-door Hyundai. There ain't no way that Hyundai was going to move either the pickup truck or that U-Haul if they wanted to try to push it out of the way. <laughs> They'd be stuck there. Oh, that's a lot of yapping. I'm trying to make my point. Dad once in a while. 
sidewalk? How, how do they know to make uh, direct eye contact? That's weird. You know, like the beggar people on the corner? They're, they're great at making direct eye contact. Don't look at them. They're great at it. It's like, it's like they have a sixth sense.